where does this enlightenment goes when he dies? This is such a beautiful question. Wishing all the students a very happy students, international students day to day. Suppose the same question I converted in where does all the students go after they finish their studies? <laughs> Will they go with a begging bowl? Begging for a job? Or will they roar like a thousand man warrior? They walk like a lion, like a leader. Will they lead or will they yield to pressure tactics? We are looking towards that. Where does all the food you eat goes after you finish your eating? <laughs> does it go to the toilet? First of all, try to understand. They created monkeys out of the educated class. They are given you a car and they call it petrol car or a diesel one or a gas one. And there they have been taught very clearly. The recent car we had was the Toyota uh, something. And in that it is written petrol, it is written diesel. Yes, so that when you go to the petrol bank, the petrol guy will ask diesel or petrol. If you say I do not know, they shouldn't get confused. In a diesel car, you put only diesel, in a petrol car, you put only petrol. But the educated classes have been taught, and the government has allowed multiple varieties of restaurants to. Mix petrol and diesel and gas together to create a food. And no vehicle will run if you put petrol and diesel and gas together. You have to take out the whole tank outside and clean it up. And you people will eat. You do not know what is carbohydrate. You do not know what is protein. Carbohydrates and proteins both two different times they digest. And that is where the constipation comes. When constipation comes, you know... The car doesn't move, your vehicle doesn't move and constipation comes. What do you do? You rush up to the doctor, you rush up to the workshop. And even after the doctor gives you the tablet, you are still continuing with the same habit of dumping all the food together. And from the constipation becomes loose motion, diarrhea. And from there, varieties of sickness starting with the cold and the cough and the fever. And the diabetes, the sugar patients, asthma, TB, cancer, all these are the connecting link from the from the food what you put into your mouth. You should know what to put one at a time for your body to digest. That too after you sweat it out. Where does enlightenment enlightened man goes after he dies? <laughs> 61st story from the Zen flesh, Zen bones written by Paul Reps, Guru and the Emperor. The Emperor Goyose was uh, studying Zen under Guru. He inquired, in Zen, this very mind is Buddha. Is this correct? Guru answered, if I say yes, you will think that you understand without understanding. If I say no, I would be contradicting a fact which may understand quite well which many understand quite well. Is Zen this very mind is Buddha? Is this correct? <laughs> if you have a mind, if you have a body, and if you think this body has already been sealed as a male body or a female body, do you go around and ask people, I'm I am male, is this correct? I am female, is this correct? <laughs> Zen, this very mind is Buddha. But you never ask when you take carbohydrates and protein together mixed up and you try to eat. And you know, it will never digest together because protein takes four hours and carbohydrates digest instantly. Hence, the South Indian Idli dosa was very wrong because in the Idli dosa, the dal is protein. And the rice is carbohydrates. Two mixed together, they have all the diseases. So recently, one lady brought out an igli with only, um, I think, dal. Yes, and no rice mixed up. 
Don't mix protein and rice together. Unless and until you are a massive, big, hard labor, then it might digest. Uh, these two different ones is very good. In, in Zen, this very mind is Buddha. Is this correct? And Guru answered, yes. If I say yes, you will think that you understand without understanding. If I say this food is good, yes. If you say this petrol is good, this car is good. If I say no, I would be contradicting a fact which may understand quite well. If I say no, then you might not come back to me to love me because we are friends. If I say no, you might not like it. You will go to another person who says yes and you think that is the gospel of truth. Yes. You know and you know it very well that you are a male. You know and know it very well that you are female. <laughs> you know, know it very well that you have materials in your body which is priceless and still a huge amount of people are living poor. And they continue to tell others, including Rich Richit, continues to tell others, I am poor. Drop, that was a magical term, a slavery term injected into everybody's mind to think their priceless things are poor. The moment you think you are poor, you never become pure. You must think it is pure. And from there, you can use that pure to roar like a thousand men warrior. When you roar like a thousand men warrior, the whole world shakes. The people around you becomes happy. It invigorates everybody. The magnetic force is so powerful in your body. You can find when you open your mouth, a thousand people listen. When you walk, a thousand people follow you. Then you can wipe out more tears and bring down hard not to get it. Yes. On another day, the emperor asked Guto, where does the enlightenment go when he dies? Guto answered, I know not. Why don't you know? Asked the emperor, because I have not died yet. <laughs> The emperor hesitated to inquire further about these things his mind could not grasp. So Gudo beat the floor with his hand as if to awaken him and the emperor was enlightened. Emperor asked, where does enlightenment go after he dies? And the teacher says, tells the emperor, I don't know. And the emperor thought he was such a great man, he should know everything. Like the Indian gurus thinking they know everything. <laughs> And the poor Indian people think the politicians know everything. Yes, politicians, the rulers, the employers, head of the institutions, they all know how to rob you. But people doesn't know that they are robbing. Even maybe people know they are robbing, but they are allowing them to be robbed because they wanted to live poor because in the Bible they say the poor man can pass through the eye of a needle, not the rich. So the, everybody believes the Bible or it's a Bhagavad Gita or whatever it is, they think the poor is well respected. So let us all believe poor. Let us allow others to rob because they will go and find hell. But they have, the poor is not thinking that this has become a massive hell. When you go to, after you die, there won't be any hell or heaven for you to enter. <laughs> to awaken, the teachers told the emperor, I couldn't give you an answer because I have not died and the emperor couldn't understand this complicated Zen answers. So the teacher went and slapped it on the floor. And the moment you slapped it on the floor, the emperor, the teacher slapped the emperor on his face. And for a second, I was slapped by my class teacher who was a Jesuit priest. Once he was also the school principal. I studied in St. Joseph's. He gave me one slap on my face because the whole St. Joseph's teachers understand one thing. Slapping me, beating me into a pulp, they get an orgasmic experience. And I was beaten morning, afternoon, evening, night. And my, my family doesn't understand why I was so naughty, why I was so aggressive, why I was fighting with everybody. They do not know that I entered the school, they are torturing me. Day and day. So the principal was six feet tall. 
he came and slapped me one on with a boom and for a second past present future stopped I to see all his stars he caught me by the by my neck and pushed me out of the class <laughs> as I was walking out of the school campus my class teacher who was a air 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 force something i guess he was a very good man he called me and said what happened i said i don't know somebody else made a noise in the class and the principal thought it was me he just slapped me and push me out and said you are suspended he said don't worry that man is madman you come tomorrow i'll take you so the, the teacher guru got up and slapped the emperor they didn't use the term slapping the emperor is something but he go and slap the emperor one because these are stupid questions coming from emperor the emperor is supposed to rule and he should be knowing many things said he is asking where does <laughs> enlightened man goes after his death He slapped the emperor so hard. Stars, emperor, emperor could see stars, and he got enlightened. Multiple centuries. That was what it meant. Multiple centuries. Once present, past, present, future stopped. The emperor respected Zen and old Guru more than ever after his enlightenment. and he even permitted guru to wear his hat in the palace in winter <laughs> when guru was over 80 he used to fall asleep in the midst of his lecture and the emperor would quietly retire to another room so his beloved teacher might enjoy the rest his aging body required that was a sweet talk to support the emperor but basically the master was pretending to Slave, no master slave during the lecture. Even though he's eighty or hundred, he cannot slave. He was giving a lecture, and he found all these monkeys are not listening. <laughs> They only wanted to be in his presence and tell other people I attended the lectures, but nobody is listening, including this monkey emperor. So he pretended to sleep, and here they write the emperor thought the aging master was sleeping. <laughs> They say when everybody was sleeping. Krishna was awake. That was enlightenment. That was the meditation. Yes, every one moment is precious. Where does the enlightenment enlightened man go when he dies, dear students? On the students' day, where do you all go? Be conscious on every one second what you are spending in the classrooms. We believed you. Send you to the schools and colleges. So that you will wipe out all the tears, to wipe out all the tears and bring down hunger. You should be a master. You should be a leader who leads and not yield to pressure tactics. To not yield to pressure tactics, you should have a powerful, built-up physical body, not the pot-belly body of the present-day leaders. You roll like thousand men warrior. You sleep in the midst of your people. You will conduct the meetings in one one slums of Bangalore city, not in the Vidhana Sabha. Then wisdom can become knowledge. Where does enlightenment go? Man go when he dies. Yes. Where does your food goes after you eat? 